Hey guys, I'm Jason with Sonic Electronics and today we're going to be exploring decibels. They're an important concept to understand if you're looking to boost your car audio knowledge. Basically, decibels are a measure of sound intensity or the loudness, so to speak. Decimals, or dB for abbreviation, are used to measure the SPL or sound pressure level of your sound system. The term originates from methods used to decrease audio levels in telephone circuits and is based on the logarithmic principles of Alexander Graham Bell. Is named after him as well, Decibel. A typical car audio sound system will be between 90 to 130 decibels. There are systems which achieve 140 plus dB, but these are usually SPL competition sound systems. Any sound above 85 to 90 decibels can cause permanent hearing damage depending on the length of the exposure to the sound. All you bass heads out there are most likely breaking these thresholds, but that's just the price we pay to have musical enjoyment in our lives. At about 140 dB is where you can experience permanent hearing damage with very short exposure. Agonizing pain and death of your hearing tissue will occur at about 180 decibels, but there aren't too many sounds that can achieve this level. To give you a rough idea of exactly how loud decibels are, here are a few examples. 30 decibels is about the volume of a soft whisper. 140 decibels is about the volume of a gunshot. Don't be discouraged, but your sound system will never be as loud as the call of a blue whale, which can reach up to 188 decibels. 3 dB is the threshold for human hearing differential. This means that a change in decibel level by 3 dB will be barely perceived by the human ear. Without getting into the, all the complex formulas, just understand that there's a logarithmic relationship between decibels and power. Say we have a 100 watt speaker capable of producing 110 dB. To make the same speaker play twice as loud, most people would think to double the power. Because it's a logarithmic scale, however, the doubling of power will only provide a net gain of 3 dB, which is barely perceivable change. So to double the actual loudness or gain of 10 dB, you'd actually have to give the speaker 10 times the amount of power, or 1,000 watts. There are quite a few ways to get the optimum decibel level out of your sound system. Your subwoofer enclosure plays a significant role in this. Ported enclosures are preferred over sealed enclosures for the reason that more air is pushed via the subwoofer port. Having a ported versus sealed enclosure can add up to 6 dB for the same woofer. Also, the number of subwoofers you have and their surface area is another thing to consider. The more surface area you have, the more air pressure you're going to be able to create in turn increasing your SPL. Doubling the surface area of your woofers also increases the sound level by up to 6 dB. Another thing that's majorly overlooked is sound dampening. When you add sound dampening to your vehicle, you decrease the outside noise by up to 15 decibels. This means that inside the car, your system will be perceived as up to three times as loud. Hopefully this clears up a lot of questions you guys have about decibels. Now, when you go deaf, you'll know why. This has been Jason with Sonic Electronics, and as long as you keep bumping, so will we.